On Saturday night, cement was poured on the final concrete tower. Minister of Public Works Von Edgel, along with his team and local engineers, visited the site, joined by the contractor, China Railway Construction International Limited. Minister Edgel told media operatives that the next milestone following the completion of the towers will be the installation of the 17 cable stayed sections, which will span 570 meters across the channel. Out of 570 meters, we have already completed 350 meters across the channel, the, 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 the channel that has been cast. So we have a two, another 220 meters, and then we will connect the bridge. The minister added that regarding the spans on a cable stayed section, 11 out of 17 are already completed, with over 1,300 workers, more than 100 of them Guyanese, working around the clock. The senior public works minister noted that the project is progressing with stealth and speed. Everything is on track. Everything that is needed for the bridge, which we were nervous about, is in country. He further emphasized that despite international shipping delays affecting the arrival of construction materials, there will be no additional costs will be added and the completion date remains unchanged. On budget, there's not another extension of price on anything for the project. 262 million U.S. dollars, 262 million U.S. dollars. And will it close the debt? We are, we are finishing the project within budget. Once completed, the bridge will link regions 3 and 4, boosting economic activity. The toll-free crossing will accommodate vehicles of all sizes and will feature a bicycle lane and a 50-meter fixed high span, eliminating the need for bridge closures due to marine traffic. Tianaco reporting for the HGP Nightly News.